Hello guys, uh, I'm going to show you a game today. It was played between uh, Josef Machego uh, versus Ernst Falkbeer. Uh, Falkbeer was a uh, chess master and journalist, and he you probably know him because he created a, the counter gambit to the King's Gambit, uh, called the Falkbeer Counter Gambit, uh, accordingly. And uh, Tarish actually said once that Falkbeer's Counter Gambit completely refuted the King's Gambit, uh, whole idea of it. But in this game, uh, Falkbeer actually doesn't go for his own invention, he plays it the standard way. It's probably just what his mood was for that time. Uh, it was played in 1853 in Vienna, and, uh, let's see this game. We have E4, E5, F4, so the King's Gambit, E takes F4 accepted, Knight to F3, G5, H4, G4. This is all pretty standard. Uh, Knight E5, the Kwerski Gambit, uh, the Berlin Defense. Then we have uh, Knight 2 of 6, Knight C3, D6, kicking the Knight away. Knight C4, Bishop E7, D4. He really wants to go for that F4 pawn. Uh, White does, so Falkbeard defends it with Knight H5. We have Bishop E2. Bishop takes h4, check, and then king d2. We have queen g5, which is a really, really nice move, because he can just play f3 and uh, threaten some discoveries. So we have king d3. <coughs> Getting out of that uh, discovery. Then we have knight c6, with ideas of coming to b4 uh, with check. So he, uh, Macheco stops it with a3. We have bishop f2, going after that... Uh, d4 pawn, we have knight d5, allowing him to take it, and then we have bishop takes d4, knight takes c7 check, king d8, and then we have knight d5, he brings the knight back uh, for the defense of the king, which that knight will actually be his downfall. We have f5, uh, trying to go for that e4 pawn, we have knight takes d6, f takes e4, and before this move, uh, Machego is actually doing okay, I guess. Uh, his queen is lined up with Falkbeer's uh, king, and those knights do look pretty dangerous, but there isn't any time for it, because he plays f takes e4 check. We have king c4, and in this position, it actually allows for Falkbeer to find a forced mate in nine moves. If you guys want to pause the video and uh, find the time, or take the time to try and find this uh, mate in nine, by all means, go ahead. It's, um, it's, it is forced, so it's, you just have to think about, um, the first move, honestly. Um, okay, go ahead and pause the video, and let's go ahead and show you. Uh, Falkbeer starts off with queen takes d5 check, we have king takes d5, then knight f6 check, king c4, knight e6, or bishop e6 check, king b5, the only move, a6 check, king a4, b5 check, and the king doesn't have any more squares, so uh, he has to take the pawn with the knight, so knight takes b5, a takes b5 check, king takes b5, and... Uh, Falkbeer uh, forces uh, Machego to go to the 6th rank with rook a5 check. He has to take the knight on c6. We have bishop d5 check, and then king d6, and he finishes it with a very pretty knight e8 checkmate. Uh, it's a very pretty mate. Uh, it just... Falkbeer was an incredible player. I've seen a couple of his games. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, it was a lovely king hunt. King hunts are always really, really fun. And I think I'm going to be showing a few more games today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.